Hi, this is Susan Love and Tarot. This reading is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, let's take a look at some energy here. What is showing up here? Devotion. Woo, ta-ta, ta-fa-ta. Okay, so... I feel like you're a very devoted person, right? And I feel like the call was kind of like to turn that devotion on yourself, right? It was like, hmm, I'm picking up hermit energy here with this, this hat. So maybe you had a, like a self-reflecting period, but I feel like a lot of Torians do that, uh, on a, um, a regular basis to bring in that prosperity. Okay. Now, for some of you, that shell represent like it represents like the hermit crab, and leaving one shell and moving to another shell to another shell. So that could mean lovers. That could mean uh, a house moving in different houses. Or moving to a house, some of you are moving, uh, acquiring a new home. Okay. Okay. I'm getting a hole in one for someone. A hole in one. Okay, so. For some of you, you are a golfer. Okay, but for uh, the hole-in-one is like that miracle. Okay, so for some of you, you've been praying for a miracle. And and it's, it's available to you. Okay, so that's spirit. And not just one miracle, but many miracles. Okay, so now with this, uh, it's like, ta ta ta. This card is like kind of like that childlike innocence energy, right? It's like the first sound that comes out of the person's mouth or the child's mouth, right? Okay, at the beach. I think that's what the scenario is of this card, but that's what I'm getting now. And so it's like, uh, ooh, I had a card like that, right? The word. This is the Sigmund Freud card. There was a the word, right? Okay. Oh, wow, interesting. Word and word. This was, I think, in another reading. This was in yesterday's reading. Okay. Okay, so I feel like communication and how you speak forth your sound, uh, your energy is very critical here. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, so it's calling for kind of like that playfulness, that innocence. And I just did a Libra reading, and it was all about purity, right? Reaching for that purity. Okay. Mm. And it's like taking a look where you devote your energy to. So... Maybe perhaps for some of you, this body of water represents a water sign that you've been wanting to connect with. You could start with tea, right? Offer herbal tea. <laughs> That's a nice place to start. Okay. Go to the beach, walks near the bodies of water. Okay, walks near bodies of water. So that could represent your emotions, right? It's like walking in, in your emotions, right? Being open to expressing your emotions.
I feel like this next phase is calling for that innocence. It's like, you know how a kid, a child, okay, so might be playing with a bunch of kids and one minute they might um, argue about a toy, but they're not holding grudges, right? They're not holding grudges. They just forget about it and then they go on about their business. So that might be for somebody. I know I'm getting castles in the sand. Okay, so someone might like that song. I know I do. <laughs> okay, so um, so maybe that's how you felt your past love life was for some of you. Castles in the sand. It's like, uh, so it slips into the sea eventually is the last line, right? Okay, so... Um, so maybe all relationships end in some kind of emotional thing. Okay, that was unwanted. Okay, so how are you going to move your energy moving forward, right? Okay. Healing. Now for some of you, this is uh, an air energy, air energy that you've been fighting okay now but here is the call for uh, stability and, and balance and alignment here with the star if you're not here it will come okay so if it wasn't an air sign hold on Oh, it was a fire sign for some. Okay. And maybe water for some, too. Okay, so now if you've been in Scorpio energy, okay, your polar opposite energy... Um, you might have not wanted to end a cycle, right? Or this could be Libra and energy. Also, I'm picking up. Okay, not wanting to end the cycle. Okay, so end the cycle doesn't mean that you're not going to be with that person. It just means you're closing out one maybe a group of energies that you've been holding that um, have been weighing you down. It's like calling for releasing that resistance to move into a more peaceful kind of energy, right? Self-love. Yeah, it's calling for ending of the cycle here. And some some in if if there's any Scorpio energy or like Libra energy, there may have been a delay there. So it's calling to keep on pushing forward, moving forward. Okay, so why was that happening? That was happening because not wanting to let go that feeling of stability, right? to move into the new. So uh, you might want to take a look at that. Okay, and then see, here's the new cycle. It's like dancing, light, free. Okay, so here's that potential. It's like dancing on top of a mountain. Okay, so for some of you that's releasing that Capricorn energy, And letting that Pluto energy come in and uh, kind of do that purification thing. Okay. Okay, so this energy... Okay, so... Hmm. See, there's a heart right here. That's a desire to move in love. But something other than that has been going on for some people. Okay, it's like that stern kind of uh, energy, right? Okay, so. 
unflexible. It's like my truth is the only truth. Ooh, that's interesting because mm. okay but here is the moth right and in the moth it, there are like jewel eyes so it's like uh, looking through uh, with clarity okay so Yeah, so that was like unwillingness to move with the change. And there's like these the wolf energy showing up here. I'm getting like um so it's like protective energy, feeling like you need protection. It's like you found your strength, but still feeling vulnerable a little bit, right? And because this this uh, wolf fell asleep. Okay. And so then um, it's like you're doing the wolf's duty or something like that. Okay. So if you feel like this air energy was opposing you, okay, I feel like then the message is, this one is um, just like a sweet dog, right? But I feel like you're on guard like this one. Okay. Something like that. Now this two of wands, he's got it crossed. Okay, so some of you might have gotten into some co contrasting energy here. Okay, so what is that? Ooh, there's blue and yellow here. And camel. So it's like bring in the water, like craving water. That's what I'm getting. And a camel can go long distances. Okay, so it's like I'm picking up Akashic. Okay, so you've been tapping into that. Huh, interesting because when I was younger, uh, in Japan, we eat like uh, the fern, a kind of fern. It's like uh, wood, wood vegetables. And we go to the mountains and we pick mushrooms and wood vegetables. And there is this vegetable called warabi. And uh, one time I... I had these hamsters when I was in Japan and I came back and I gave them to the hamster and I didn't know that you were supposed to, uh, you, that, that it was uh, too much for them. Uh, you have to cook it, right? Okay. So anyway, so they started itching. Okay. So for some, that itching might be like message from a spirit, right? Like a tingling ear and, uh, or, you know, there's that saying about if someone's talking about you, then you get a ring in your ear or something like that. Okay. So for some of you, this is like clearing out and ending that cycle so that you can move into, um, a commitment. See how there's like split land here? This is the desert and this is the... So is that going on in mind, right? It looks like Libra energy. So there might be a Libra here that is has the um, Scorpio or Taurus rising 
or Scorpio or Taurus moon energy, and that's causing this, kind of that teeter-totter energy. Okay. Woo! The hermit! Oh my goodness! So I feel like this is devotion to self first and then extending that. Okay, but here it is again, listening to the sounds of the universe. Okay, it's like connecting with the earth, the Gaia. Okay, and it's like the earth and water here, harmonizing that energy within you. Okay, so that, the lovers came reversed. Okay, so by doing this, we can flip this, the lovers. Ooh, okay, so look. Okay, see how this transformation, it's calling for you to go ahead and, and it's, uh, it's like delay energy. So what are you delaying? What, what are you delaying? Step into the new cycle here. That's what it's calling for. See that? And there's a heart here and there's a heart here. And the star peeking through, right? The North Star. So follow the North Star. I feel like <clears throat> this is calling. The lover is calling. Are you listening? Wow, I just did Libra, and they got the Three of Wands here. Mm. Five of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this is, for some of you, this is at the root of what's causing problems is money. Okay. So, Elephant Ears. Okay. Okay. Elephant ears. Okay, so elephant ears, they have big ears, so it's, it's calling to listen. You've got two cards, listen to the universe, right? you got listen to the universe and list, look at these elephant ears. Okay, but elephants also don't forget, right? Okay, so maybe it's calling for you to reach for some kind of... Um, Harmony or forgiveness to release that so the pinnacles can come in. Okay. And look, this is like a couple and they're old together and I feel like you want that for some of you. Okay, so it's like listen to the universe because there's there are calls and I feel like, see how these little sparklers are here? It's just a little spark, right? And um, and it's like sitting on the water. So it's like you, you, maybe there's a fear there, a little bit of it blowing up, right? Okay, so take a look at that. And how do you get comfortable around money, right? Okay, so it's looking at the patterns of your childhood and growing up around money, right? And then you might have a better understanding of how you're moving in your love life and around money and discomfort feeling around discomfort feelings around money. Okay. So now you got the seven of cups. All right. So Libra got seven of cups reverse, which is, was releasing the illusions. So I feel like you're not in illusion. You're just trying to step into this new cycle. Look at all these men. <laughs> okay. All right. So, oh, okay. So someone's a Scorpio that's here. Okay. So for some of you, that's Scorpio for Scorpio person. Okay. 
Now, what is that? Okay, so they're like, so for some of you, you want monogamy because he's spilling one cup, right? And there's three people here and you want monogamy for some of you. Okay, all right. All right, so here is that creative spark. You can take that one anywhere you want. Ooh, okay, so this was showing up in the Libra reading, and what it was calling for is accepting of apologies and forgiveness, but also you, um, you forgiving so that you can step into a new reality, the new way of being, the call to move forward. Okay. Wow, it's interesting. Okay, so it's like stepping stones, right? If you think of humans as crystals, stepping stones to fly. And see, that's that Uranus energy calling you forward. It's like, come on, come on, come on. And then uh, it's like base jumping, okay? And or uh, parachuting without a parachute, okay? And it's like spirits got you. We've got you. We've got you. So come on, let's go. Let's go. Move into the new cycle. Okay. It's that encouragement. Okay. And so if you had some kind of entanglement and love back here. Okay. So it's saying, okay, we know what you want now. We know. We know. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave you with that. Yep. And the key is to... Uh, release those sharp thoughts in mind, right, to move forward. I leave you with that.